You driving? Some Plan Bs are smarter than others. If you're drinking, don't drive. RBT means you need a Plan B. Authorised by New South Wales Government, Sydney. I'm not too short about it, so I wish I'd figured that out earlier, but um, I think just for me it's just having a clear mind and I was probably overthinking the game a little bit and sort of gone away from what I, what I did do well my first season, so it's, it was just getting back to that for me. Has there anybody, been anybody in particular who's kind of helped you through that, that period, anybody you've went on? Um, yeah, well guys in the team I'm pretty close with. Um, of the younger guys like Moses and Steve Smith, so they're great to talk to. Um, Brad Haddon's been a big one for me. Um, getting to play most of the season with him has um, it's been a big learning curve, and sort of having him in my corner talking to me about batting in the game um, is a massive, massive step. Um, and Trent Woodhill, who's just come back um, from New Zealand cricket and joined our coaching panel for the second half of the year, um, it's a I don't know, it's something I like having him around. I've, I've known him since I was about 15 years old, so to have him in here um, and working close with my batting has, has benefited me a lot. Yeah, there is. There's a good vibe, you know. We've got a lot of young guys coming through. i um, seen Adam Zamper and Gorinda Sandu take wickets tonight as well. So I think the group we've got going now is, um, is a very good group and hopefully that can move forward and we can get a few more wins in the back half of the season. How was that? How was the wicket playing out there? It looked like a lot of people kind of struggled to, to really motivate you. Were you hit seven sixes, I think, and you, you said to score quite quickly. Um, was it about yeah, it was a little bit slow. I thought the ball was just holding up a little bit. So I was with the field they had. I was just trying to look to hit straight as I could and um, sort of just go through with my shot. So that was sort of the game plan I took into it. And I'm not sure what other what other guys how they seen the game, but I thought that was going to be a strength of mine. I was going to say one thing about the seven sixes. You know, you see a few guys hit quite a few sixes these days, but yours were pretty much all decent cricket shots. Or in the case of slogging. Yeah, I was just trying to hold my shape. Like I said. And that wicket it was a little bit slow so I think it was important just to, to try and play good cricket shots and get the ball over the over the infield and I was lucky enough to time a few that sort of went the whole way. So. We've, done it, we've done the maths a little bit up in the uh, up in the press box and you said well it's still a chance to, to make the final if, if there's a bonus point victory and a few results go your way. Is that kind of remarkable considering where you were even two weeks ago? Uh, yeah, it is. I guess it's something we haven't probably thought about um, since coming back from the BBL. But you know, winning games is, I guess, our top priority. So if, if we keep winning and we do end up mathematically getting into the final, I think it'll be massive for us. Just you mentioned Trent before. What what are the, the key things I suppose that he looks for with your bat? Um, sort of just going, sort of getting rid of all the thoughts I had about worrying about my technique and was just getting back to being in a right sort of mindset where I could just go out and hit the ball and sort of having, I guess it's sort of not all just in the nets and around cricket, um, having him as a mentor and having him around um, just to chat to is, is massive for me.